Hello, my name is Michael Morley, and I am here to review The Last of Us. Now, when this uh, first came out, this was based on a video game that came out on the PlayStation, based on the PS3 game, The Last of Us. Now that you can upgrade it to PS4 and PS5, it was a game about two characters, Joel and Ellie. Two characters you could play, uh, a young character that could climb up ladders and could travel to certain areas that the older character Joel could not. Uh, it was a survival game, it was an adventure game, it was literally exploring and you were literally running away from infested zombies that had like, you know, these weird uh, vein-like structures, these strange, uh, kind of look like, like they had forest and, and wood like all over their body and all over their face. It was a very, it's a very different zombie look compared to what you regularly see in a zombie, you know, series or movie. And I can honestly say my review based on this show is that it is probably the best video game adaptation I have ever seen. What they get right in this series is the characters. Joel and Ellie. You really care about these characters. The story, the situations, the, the way they get to know each other. It's a slow build. It doesn't just, they don't just, you know, become um, like a relationship. Like at the start, they're kind of very antisocial of each other. There's, there's like, you know, he doesn't really trust her. He doesn't really know what she's about. She has this bite. She's been bitten and she's not turning into a zombie and he's wondering why. And he then gets asked by his partner to take her to this hospital where they could possibly do treatments on her to find a cure. And if you've heard of the game, you know that she was born from uh, a woman who was bitten just before she cut the umbilical cord. And that's the reason why she is immune to when she gets bitten by zombies. Which I find very clever, actually. That's a very original way of doing it. And the mother who plays uh, Ellie's mother in the show is actually the woman who does the voice of Ellie in the series, which I thought was really cool. And in the ninth episode, uh, one of the cannibals uh, is played uh, by the actor who played Joel in the game, which is really cool that they casted those guys in the series. <laughs> but what I also love is that there are certain episodes where it doesn't really evolve around Joel and Ellie. There's there's an episode between a character named Bill and Frank, which is two gay characters. And at the start, uh, he's like, you know, alone underground in this like weaponry house where he's got weapons everywhere. Bill, he's sort of uh, a bit of a antisocial lone star who doesn't really communicate with people. And finally he associates with this character named Frank who he finds in a hole and Overall, there's a, there's a relationship that forms between them and it just becomes like he has something to live for. Like over the years, as time goes on, there's like 15, 16 years gone by and you just buy the relationship that the, the start the time they had together. Like either you either are into the gay relationship or not, but you, you believe in the uh, love they have for each other, the support they have for each other. Um, it was just a beautiful thing to watch. And it didn't feel forced, it felt real, and it felt grounded. Like, I actually bought it. I bought the, the relationship. Um, another episode I liked, and it actually really improves on the game. Like, the writing in this is like, they've, they've really gotten more into the characters and really delved into them a lot more than what the game uh, allows. Like, in the fifth episode, we have characters like... Uh, the little brother Sam and the older brother, uh, I think his name is Henry. They did something really clever by making the younger brother deaf. And I really felt like that made the relationship between the older brother and the younger brother uh, really sell. It just made it more 
interesting, more compelling, made you feel more um, involved with the characters. You feel more, uh, you, you care about them a lot more and they feel more humanized. And just like at the end when this, the little brother gets bit and Ellie thinks that if she cuts her hand and gives him a bit of her blood and puts it on the bite, she thinks that there might be a way of him, you know, being, a, you know, he might survive this bite and not turn to a zombie, but unfortunately we all know that this is one of those shows that does not end happy. We know it's not one of those shows and she wakes up the next day and he turns into a zombie and he starts trying to, you know, bite her and it was such a sad moment between um, Joel and uh, Henry because Joel was like getting a gun trying to you know kill the little br kill the kid and Henry's like no no and there's like a literally a moment where Henry just shoots his little brother and then he just stands there and thinks shit well, what am I gonna do I've got nothing left now I've got nothing to live for so he just gets the gun and shoots himself in the head and it just I can tell you right now this is so true to the game. Like there are things that uh, you see that are like, shit, that's that, I remember that. I remember that in the game. I remember this location. Even the last episode where they uh, see a giraffe, you know, during the tree and they're standing there and uh, they're feeding the giraffe. It just reminds me so much of the game. You can tell that they've, they've, they've improved in the writing on the characters and they've just basically copied what was in the game into the show and it works it really does it's it's really clever and also there are things that for people who have never played the game you're still going to be on the edge of your seat watching this show because i can tell you right now the the first episode that relates around the daughter of joel everyone probably thought she was going to be the main character but she wasn't and I knew that she was going to die. I knew she was going to get shot, but a lot of people didn't realize that who hadn't played the game. And I love the bit where they're in the car, they're driving off, and they're seeing, you know, the burnt houses, the people running away, people screaming, people asking for help, and the brother of Joel is like, should we help them? And Joel's like, no, keep going. And the thing is, you might think Joel is an asshole, but that's the reason why he's still alive because he thinks about himself. He, he, he doesn't think about other people because at the end of the day, that's what's gonna kill him in the long run is by helping other people. And you don't know if you can trust them or not. Like there's a scene in the fourth episode where there's a injured bloke coming up and you know, they're in the car and he's saying, help me. And Ellie's like, should we help them? And he's like, no, it's a trap. And he keeps going and he was right, it was a trap. And it is just so much that you, that you just, <laughs> I love this show. You know, it's got everything that did... It just did everything right. I can't really fault this show. I actually think it benefits being a TV series because there was more they could add in. There was more that they could grab into the characters and the story and everything. Um, and if it, you put it into a movie, you would have had to cut so much stuff out that it wouldn't have uh, been as good, in my opinion. So I think it really benefits being a TV series. And to, not to mention... Uh, there really isn't that much zombie stuff in it. It really is the characters that you give a shit about and I can tell you right now You could have added more zombie stuff in this and it probably wouldn't have made the show any better. I think if you have a You know story about characters you care about it makes it so much more compelling That's why I give this show a 10 out of 10 That is why the game gets a 10 out of 10 as well. They're both really good. Uh, I can't fault them. Um, it's made exactly the way they wanted it and exactly the way they envisioned it. And, you know, the show basically does everything that, that worked in the game. And people might complain and say, oh, it's too much like the game. Well, if it worked in the game, why would you want to change it in the show? Why would you want to fuck up what ain't broken, you know? Why fix something that ain't broken? You know? Anyway, that's my review of The Last of Us.